birthday. Happy birthday, Emily. See you later. See you later. See you later, Tinky. Can I get a waffle? We're heading to our little favorite nature spot. This is like our lucky spot for seeing alligators. Um, we've never gone to this place and not seen an alligator. We've been like four or five times, and every time we've gone, we've seen at least one alligator. So today we're gonna yeah. see if we can keep the streak alive. It's a nice sunny winter day in Florida, so we wanted to just go out, be in nature, see if we can see yeah. some gators. Swamp. Ooh, okay, so this excited, place is called Sawgrass Lake Park, and there's like a gun range right next to it. I think it's actually a skeet shooting club. So you're definitely gonna hear that in the background, the big booms. People leave negative reviews just because there's a gun range next door. This one. Right. I think. I don't exactly remember. Walking too fast for you? Yeah, you're going way too fast. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's pull over so we can get passed up. Okay. So we can walk like turtles. So that's an armadillo? I think so. Oh my gosh, but what if it's aggressive? Or what if it's like poisonous? It's, it's chilling. Oh, it's okay. so cute, look at those ears. What are you looking for? Oh my gosh, look at that, it has hair on its, how do you have hair on your freaking shell? What in the world? Oh, it's so cute, like a little rat. Yeah, it's like a turtle rat. It's like if a turtle and a rat had a baby. I guess it's so used to seeing people because it's here. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, I want to pet it so bad. <laughs> but honestly, I don't know anything about this. Come on, don't disturb him. Yeah. What's that? Do you see anything? Gosh, Here's something. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we're in a haunted house. That's another one. Another armadillo. Another armadillo. I hope I'm right now. It's like a turtle rat. Honestly, when we had big old rats in the, like, I don't know, before you put that wall up, they were like that big. <laughs> no, they were not. Basically. Okay, maybe that long. <laughs> not that <laughs> Their big. Their tails look just as big. Their tails look just like that. Oh man. I'm glad they're small. What if armadillos were like size of like dinosaurs? What if they were like big? Like what if they were walking around they were like this big? I mean that would be cool if they're not aggressive. No it wouldn't. What's that? I don't know, I hear something. Probably another armadillo, the way things have been going. Another one! Oh my goodness. I don't think we're at the alligator section. I think we went the wrong way. We're at the armadillo section. Because if we were at the alligator section, there would be rails. You know True. what I mean? But that was cool to see the arm armadillos. I've never seen one of those alive. Right, now you've seen three. Ooh, look at you. Who oh, since when? I didn't even know Florida got armadillos. And now it's like five armadillos. Oh yeah, we're nowhere near the water. We're trying to get that way. That's how we turn around. The water's all over there. We're over here. Oh, that's some bright sun. Yeah, it is. We've had no luck today so far. It's been a dry day. We saw armadillos. You've seen alligators before, but armadillos are a rarity. Yeah, that's nice, but I want to see a big old alligator in its you natural habitat. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you just never know where, where you'll see them. You know what I mean? Right? We may have walked past one. Yes, they are. Because sometimes they're in the water, sometimes they're not. <laughs> what would you do if you saw an alligator with a collar on? A collar? Yeah. Nothing. What am I supposed to do? Would you run or would you be like, oh, that's someone's pet, like a dog? I mean, I'm not going to run from an alligator. Maybe go pet it. You can't outrun nice. an alligator. Yeah, true. They're, it's weird. People think alligators are slow. Like, I used to think they're really slow. But then it's like, I feel like living in Florida, I've learned they're slow until they're not. They're like lizards when they're fat. Yeah, they're just chill. They're, they're huge lizards. I mean, they're basically dinosaurs. 
So, I mean, what are you supposed to do? You see an alligator with a collar. I don't get it. Am I supposed to go look for the owner, look at the tag of the alligator? Well, like, I'm staying say, away from any alligator. You know how collar, you know, like, no collar, collar, doesn't matter. Jingling, what have you heard? An alligator collar jingling, and you turn, and it's like, oh, it's just on the, on the boardwalk, you know? Someone's pet. Then, what if you saw the person? They were like, oh, you can pet it. It doesn't bite. Would you trust yeah. it? Oh, uh, maybe if the person was there. It was like their pet. You would trust it. Maybe. It depends on how it felt. I mean, the good thing is, I guess, if you're not near a body of water, then it can't, like, drag you back to the water and then, like, tumble you under the water. Is that a bug? Yeah. Oh, there's a turtle. Is it a snapper, though? I have no oh, idea. It's so cute. It's looking at us. You think everything is cute. I mean, it's actually kind of not so cute, but it's cute. It's like other cute. But... You think everything alive is cute. Not rats. Bruh. We have used 50% of our battery on armadillos. <laughs> <laughs> and a turtle. So this is edible? Yeah, when, well, when it, it When it flowers? Yeah. And uh, sometimes it'll probably try, try to you. Uh, it's their little red, well, not so, so small, they're about this size. And they got a big seat in the middle. Made it to the watchtower. The streak continues. Oh, I was getting nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. You think everything is cute? He's so peaceful. Open his eyes. Just open his eyes. Aww. He's just catching some rays. How is he so still? I don't understand. Oh my gosh. The streak continues. The streak continues. We are undefeated. I can't believe he's just right here. Like of all the area he could be in. Why is he right here? I can't believe the street continues. Maybe he's like waiting to get a boiled egg or something. Oh, hopefully no one feeds him. The street continues. We are undefeated. undefeated. Florida people. We always know when to come to see the gators. Maybe it's really, really heavy and that's why it doesn't move when the water pushes it. So funny he came all the way over to the dock like he definitely is over here for the people you know maybe because he could be anywhere else on the huge he might live over here true all right we're leaving the trail mission complete big girl have we seen a gator there every time literally every single time Dang. one time we saw one as we were walking out the exit Leaving to go home and boom, a gator was right there. I was like, yes. It's crazy because this is just in the middle of a neighborhood. Yep. <laughs> this is the exit to the park and it dumps you off right into a neighborhood. A few moments My later. Wife is cooking right now and she almost burned the house down. She literally caught this on fire. Look at this. I wanted to let me smoke coming out. Oh, no smoke. No so smoke. We smoked it worked. fire with this, but she caught that whole high on fire. Yeah. You can see the smoke marks on the pot. You see that? Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, gosh. She was trying to steam some oysters, and there must have been some grease down there. It caught that on fire. So we just threw everything off the stove, got it smothered. And yeah. I wonder what the air quality is on here, man. Jeez. <laughs> and it's funny, because last night on stream, you were making fun of me for just causing a lot of smoke. Yeah. It's, oh, it's at a thousand. Oh my gosh. So this reads the air quality, the lower the better. So you want it down at zero, zero, two. Right now it's nine, nine, nine. There's so much smoke in here. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it's funny because you were just making fun of me. You said I almost burned the house down because I cooked oh my something. Gosh. I cooked too hot with bacon grease, so it caused a lot of smoke. And <laughs> then you literally, two days later, two caused days a fire. Later. But we have a fire it extinguisher was... that we keep in the kitchen. So the fire yeah. got too out of control, we would have put it out with this. But it didn't get too bad, so we just yeah. smothered it. And we keep jugs of water because they call these trailers matchboxes. I mean, that won't do good with a grease fire. Yeah, it won't. This eye, this back eye, I never use it because it always smokes. Like ever since we moved in, it always smokes. And the higher it goes up, the more it smokes. But it's the only, it's the other big eye that works. So I was trying to like use it. I was like, maybe I'm just being too scared. So I had this fan on and whatever. 
but I think before we moved in, somebody might have spilled grease down in it because it just kept smoking, smoking. This is just boiling water, so it shouldn't have But there was a pan of grease next to it as well. Yeah, but I mean, it shouldn't have got, it shouldn't have caused it. You know what I mean? It was a cast iron skillet that has some grease in the bottom of it, but it shouldn't have caused that to like smoke like that. You know what I mean? To catch on fire. But now that it's been on fire, can we even use the oven or should we get rid of it? You can use it, just don't use that eye. I never use it until right now because it always smokes, but now I guess it makes sense why I never use it. Wait, so you've never used it, but it always smokes? Yeah, before we moved in. Is this a riddle? Because I go, I go to try So you to, have used it I before. turn it on. I've never actually cooked on it. I turn it on, and as soon as I turn it okay. on, it smokes and smokes, and so I end up turning it off and going to use a different eye. But that's the only big eye besides this one, and I use this one to cook every single meal every day, so it feels like I use it too much, you know? So I was like, oh, I'm gonna just use that eye this time. Maybe I'll let the smoke, like, you know, it'll smoke and then disappear usually, and I just let it keep going, and then it eventually just, just caught on fire. <laughs> so today i'm already having a rough day honestly like i was already getting kind of like i was kind of cranky like i was already in that's why i got oysters because i was literally like okay i'm gonna have like you know something, something delicious something like nice, pick me up yeah i was like we didn't want to go and eat like you know carbs and stuff because we we're trying to eat keto and so i'm like oh finally gonna do this and then it's like i don't know sometimes i get so frustrated living here Okay, we're all good now. Might have a little snot or something on my shoulder though. It's all good, it's all good. And we got some, some food ready. Boom, food. Still gonna work on how to get these oysters done though. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, that sounds like, oh. Uh... Yeah, she started freaking out when it caught on fire. She's like, Brad, 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 get in here now! I don't I'm know like, what dang, to do. this is serious, but you don't sound injured. So I'm like, that's good. No one probably broke in. You probably didn't cut yourself really bad. Like, but she's because, freaking out. So because, I ran in here, but then the pups ran in front of me, so they got in my yeah, way. So I'm like, I'm like pushing them, like, come on, I'm trying to get yeah. in the kitchen. And then you're like, look up how to put on a grease bar. I'm like, I don't even know where my phone is because I'm just like cooking. I don't know. Right, because I couldn't remember to use flour or baking soda. She started using baking soda. I didn't it know if that like was, it was the right helping, one. helping, but it was like the fire was under it. And then we didn't want to like take the pot off. So I stood next to the stove with the fire extinguisher ready in case it got out of control while she Googled what to do and it's like yeah. smother it. We don't even the, know if this fire extinguisher works though because we got it from that that old dead guy's garage. Mm, it probably so works. It probably works, but. But oh uh, yeah. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Watch it go. She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. But I don't